place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in. morning it's almost 8 30 right now and we're about to go do something it's so exciting <laughs> oh my god i'm getting weird okay, okay. hang on a second are you ready <laughs> so we have a little bit of a surprise we have some exciting news we are on our way right now to go pick up our new puppy <laughs> What is such a long maybe not so long but like backstory to this that we can get into later i really didn't think that we would be getting a dog now or like really anytime soon so it's like kind of funny that we're here but our little girl she is eight weeks old and she is a mini australian shepherd she is going to be the light of my life, second to Oliver, of course. We can get into this later as well. I'm a bit anxious about them interacting, but we're going to be keeping them separate for a bit. But anyways, we are off to go to my niece's sorority, actually, at University of Washington in order to pick her up. It's a good, like, meeting spot for the breeder, but then also us. And I'm getting so anxious. It was kind of funny because it felt like, like a Christmas morning. <laughs> the last couple of hours of my sleep like I really couldn't sleep like I was getting like really excited really anxious just like oh she is a little fluff ball of like cuteness and perfection like I can't wait for you guys to meet her and I keep calling her her or girl because we don't have a name yet and that is the ultimate goal for today is to have a name selected by the end of the day we do have a list we haven't narrowed down to like a few choices but I just like I need to see her and I need to see her with the name to see what works best so that's why we haven't selected one yet but I mean she's eight weeks it's not like super important for her to know it like the first day or two because she's not even gonna know her name anyways but Juan wants to name her like immediately Woo! okay so we're gonna get our stuff together baby are you almost ready oh my gosh oh my gosh we got her so much stuff too I'll do like a little dog haul dog stuff haul when we get back um too but i'm thinking about like bringing like a blanket oh i should probably bring some poop bags that's definitely going to be important oh my gosh oh my gosh what are we getting into that's that's my feelings <laughs> how excited are you babe i'm pretty excited it's going to be fun oh my god this is going to be an adventure of a weekend it's a dog weekend a dog weekend. <laughs> 72 hours just dogging. Dog. Trying to like figure life out with a dog now. <laughs> yeah. Could you sleep last night? Took me a while. Took you a while. <laughs> this is Quan's dream. He's being so chill right now, but he's been wanting a dog for so long. True. Yeah. I don't know how you're staying so calm right now. We see. He contains his emotions <laughs> very well. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Are you excited to come home? Settles in the car for like what the first five minutes? Yeah. 
and then she fell asleep for the rest of the car ride home. Do you want to explore a little bit or not yet? What do you think? I think she wants to. Do you want to hand one of the toys or, ooh, the blanket that smells like, you can put this here. We can get your pee pad set up because I know you're going to have to go pee. What do you think? It's okay. Hand me a toy. There we go, girl. There we go, cutie. Can't you look awesome? You're so good. You're so good. Yes. yes. I love you guys. So far, so good. Yes. Curious. Oh. But nothing, nothing major. We want to try to do something for the. You're just the cutest little thing in the world. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Thank you. What's in here? What's he doing? Is he about to make a coffee? It's gonna get real loud, little one. Do you want that one? Good job. <laughs> I already have this toy out, although I probably shouldn't yet, but it's like to teach them like a smart, like little puzzle because these dogs are incredibly smart. They put a treat in here and then she can like knock these over and stuff to get to the treat. Probably could put that up for now. Well, hello. I left my camera downstairs, so I grabbed a different camera because I didn't necessarily want to move. I'm cuddling up here with Oliver at the moment. Hi, bud, right? So she is sleeping. She's taking a little nap, and so I wanted to leave her in her little playpen area to take a nap by herself so that she can get used to it. Juan is in a work meeting right now, and I also... What's your ear? What's on your ear? Just look it. I also was working a little bit. I busted out my work laptop and was seeing what I missed, but I'm like taking a half day. But anyways, I wanted to come up here and spend some time with Oliver. He was staring through the gate. Oh, I guess he doesn't want to spend time with me anymore. <laughs> he was like staring at her through the gate and like trying to figure out a way to get through the gate. I think to like come up. They made eye contact and the pup, she was fine with it. Apparently the breeder, she has a cat and all of the puppies were like super interested in the cats. They did go up to the cat and like brushed against it essentially, but that was essentially it. But I'm like, okay, but Oliver is like in a league of his own because he's special. But I wanted to say, which was really funny, was coming up here and spending some time with him because I don't want him to feel like he's forgotten or anything like that. So it's gonna be interesting trying to like split the time, staying upstairs, but also being downstairs with the pup. Juan and I are gonna have to alternate just so that she doesn't feel lonely or like left out or anything like that. But it was really funny because she was like rubbing her nose and her face all over me. She can smell the pup and then she was just like rubbing herself against me. And I just like looked up what that was. What like, what was that all about? And she's essentially like marking her territory. She's like putting her scent all over me to essentially be like, she's mine, which I find very funny. So I'm just like really hoping that there aren't going to be problems. And Quan and I know that this might take a long time because we don't want to force anything when it comes to introducing them to one another. One, we want the pup to know that this is a safe place. This is our home, like get comfortable with the area. We don't want her to f ever feel like unwelcomed and that this isn't her home, right? But at the same time with Oliver, we don't want him to be territorial about anything. He never has shown signs of that ever, but you never know. So we're playing it safe and we're keeping them separate. We have baby gates on the stairs. Oliver will be living upstairs for the foreseeable future. I'm thinking it's gonna be weeks, maybe even a month or two. Again, we don't wanna like force anything. We want them to see each other from a distance, get comfortable with that, and then maybe start to grow and develop from there. So anyways, that was a lot of updating 
lots of information. Um, I'm gonna wait till Juan is off like his meeting so that we can together tell the story of how we even ended up with a pup. But yeah, I'm just gonna go normally throughout my day and this is just gonna be a weekend vlog in our lives, but with trying to now integrate a puppy <laughs> into our lives. Oh my gosh. It's kind of funny. I immediately went upstairs to try to give her some space, right? And then I was like, but what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> because I just want to be like with her and around her. Okay, so rugby just started and we're going to make some lunch right now. I think Argentina and England are playing for third place right now. Argentina just got dominated by by New Zealand. That was an embarrassing game. <laughs> but it's so funny because I've been really enjoying watching rugby, like the World Cup while it's been on, because this is like my first time ever watching rugby and I find it so fascinating. So it's been lots of fun to watch. What I should be using right now, since I'm sitting in this chair, is the little foot massager. So let's put it on a little bit while we're sitting here and watching the rugby game. Having a little bit of pizza and someone woke up. Yes. Oh, it's a, that's such a good howl. <laughs> I shouldn't be praising that. And look at that, a second later, she figures out how to settle herself down. Good girl. Yes. Oh, so good. Mm -mm -mm. Food, foot massage. Things can't get better. <laughs> not let me make my matcha at all what is going on <laughs> okay so i made my matcha with a new matcha i'm dying to see what it tastes like it was harder to like put through the strainer it had more clumps than the one that i have been using that i got from japan hmm, i think it's good it's not like as like Creamy smooth. Is this one of the new ones? Yeah, this is one of the new ones. And it's not like as sweet. The one that you said that is the best one or? Oh no, I have no idea which one's the best one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't yeah. have that much flavor like the other one. Yeah. Like the one that we got from Japan. That's the only other one I had to compare it yes. to. Yes. Well I bought two more. So tomorrow we can try out another one. For reference, this is the one. <laughs> What's happening, girl? <laughs> I love when you lay like that. So we had our first successful pee on the pee pad. pee pad. Thank you. She was sleeping on top of me for how long, babe? Like an hour and a half? <laughs> no, we don't need to do all that. But I'll come in here and hang out for a second. <laughs> because you know, we, we film a lot over here, you know? Yes, <laughs> my sweet girl. Oh, now you're chill? Do you yeah, see this? Of course. I thought we were gonna play. Have some playtime. Are you done with your meeting yet? You are?
Should we say the names that we were testing? Yeah. So we're testing Nyla, and then we're also testing Gray. The breeder sent us home with some food that she has been eating. So I'm gonna feed her a little bit now. Puppies typically like to be fed three times a day. So we're gonna do kind of like a breakfast, lunch, dinner sort of a situation, even though it's like 3.30 now. But we're gonna try this out and see how we do. The entire island, babe, like this whole house is like dog zone. Yeah, dog zone. <laughs> whining, howling, which I didn't know like she could do. Juan is downstairs with her, but it's after 10 p.m. right now. You try to like play with her for an hour to like wear her out. Juan's gonna sleep downstairs with her. I'm gonna be up here. I of course said like, if you need something, like come get me. I feel like the whole weekend is gonna be like that. Maybe like alternate, we'll see. One of us is gonna be sleeping downstairs near her just so that she can get settled potentially a little bit easier it's like having a little baby when she's whining in her little playpen we're like okay are you hungry are you thirsty do you need to go to the bathroom <laughs> put on a little bit of eye cream right now i went in with all of the same products that i've shown like I feel like a ton in my last few vlogs. All clear stem right now, except for my moisturizer, because I use a gel moisturizer. Although, I do want to try out the clear stem moisturizer now that we're heading into freezing months, you guys. I woke up today and the weather was 30 degrees. I'm like, whoa, bro, it's a little soon. Like, we're not in January. <laughs> yeah, my skin is starting to get like pretty dry, especially with products that have actives in it, like the Clarity Serum because it has mandelic acid and also vitamin C. Because it's been freezing, I've been loving sleeping in my pajama sets. Pretty much all of the ones I have are long sleeves and obviously pants as well. This has been really great. Very cozy, very soft, very warm. Okay, let's crawl into bed. And I think I'm gonna try to read right now before going to bed so yes <laughs> i'm still reading things they left behind i think i've been reading this for a couple of weeks now but i really am almost done i have about 100 pages or less left so my goal is to finish this this weekend and maybe even start a new book so we'll see how i do there <laughs> Having um, a little bit of separation anxiety. Where'd you put the scoop, babe? Uh, here, behind you. Oh. We had missed opportunities to get her to go outside and pee and poop this morning. We didn't move quick enough, but lesson learned. We're still trying to get the hang of things, but we're gonna eat for breakfast now. So I'm kind of doing some of her food that she's been using since she started eating kibble. And I'm also doing the one that I wanna feed her. I think that the ingredients on this is slightly better. And then we're topping it off with a little bit of freeze-dried formula. This is just what it's gonna be for now, but I do want to look into potentially getting her like fresh or like raw food because that's what I do for Oliver and I've seen some like really good things from doing that. But anyways, sprinkle some of this on top. Part of what we need to work on today is the separation and anxiety because let me tell you about last night. <laughs> I wanna put a little bit of water on this. Do you want me to put it inside the crate? Yes. 
Open the crate. Are you hungry, baby? So we're trying to feed her in her crate because we want to associate the crate with like good things. You know, she gets treats, she gets food there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about last night. <laughs> last night. So Juan slept downstairs. I did not join him. I slept upstairs. But that, that did not mean that I had an amazing night's sleep because <laughs> this little girl, every time she whined and howled, I woke up because I'm also a really light sleeper. And she's loud. And she's loud. I remember like three or four times, but you're saying that there's only two major times. Yeah. I mean, four times that she cried. Yeah. But two for, were for waking up. The other two I were see. for going to sleep. You need to eat more. Eat more. Come here. Come on. <laughs> here you go. Eat some food. You gotta eat your food, babe. You can't possibly be done. You can't possibly be done. So, I guess not the worst night, but definitely room for improvement. You're so playful this morning. You're so playful this you morning. We ended up getting her like this grass pad situation and we put it out on our balcony. And I think we're gonna try to potty train her there first. Only because she doesn't fully have all of her vaccinations. She won't for a while. And it's just not recommended to take her outside, especially on like public grass areas where diseases and stuff can still live for long periods of time. We don't want her to catch anything. So we're just playing it like ultra safe right now. We have this on our balcony and we're gonna try to do it that way. Right, babe? Yeah. Today we're gonna be very good about taking her out every hour and the goal of today is to have at least one potty one poop whatever it may be but just one outside but i think we're gonna have like more outside of the playpen time today more exploring this main floor yeah she takes really well to training so i should record some of it today it's she's so cute she's so so smart I'm gonna have a little bit of a cereal. I'm just gonna have my life cinnamon cereal that I always have with some oat milk. Hey, little girl. Hi. <laughs> You're so cute. Hi, cutie. We introduced the Kong. It's been laying there for a while, keeping busy, which is good. Are you feeling exhausted? No, I'm okay. You are? Yeah. Wow. Okay Wow, so you're gonna do this again tonight? Yeah. <laughs> Surprised how easily you uh, took on that. I feel like I'm always looking for dog stuff, babe. A collar? Yeah, a collar. But I'm looking at prime ones and ones that like could get delivered today, you know? Woohoo! I changed for the day. I have some clothes on. Just wearing this set active sweat set here. I was able to wash my face, brush my teeth, but definitely having a no makeup day, giving my face a break from makeup since I wore it a lot this past week. Juan is sitting in the dog pen. You can't see him. There you go. <laughs> the bigger play pen came and it's downstairs. So I'm gonna go open it downstairs and take a piece by piece upstairs. But it's like a little bit taller and there's more panels. So it'll be like a little bit bigger as well. But we were thinking that the height might be nice. One for Oliver if he was ever to want to jump over it. But two, she's not going to be this tiny forever like she's going to be a lot bigger and so we don't want this to be like a one-time use situation we still want to be able to use this in the future good how many more you're gonna be okay i promise i learned that when she's crying like this yeah. Ignoring them is the best option. Okay. If you say like relax and all that, like she It's not engages. working. Okay. Oh are you being? Oh it looks so easy. You take her out once per hour and that's it. Yeah, it's not that easy. She doesn't want to listen <laughs> at all. We gotta teach her from <laughs> zero.
see that. 1042 a.m. Hey. This pin is like the easiest thing to like set up and build, no? Yeah. I've, it's like my favorite. And this is what I was saying, like this part that keeps them together, this can also go in the grounds, yes. the grass, which is awesome. And there's even like a door part of it too. I love this. This is so cool. And it even comes taller than this too. There's more options. taking a little nap in her crate which i think is a huge win and i've been moving around the kitchen trying to pick up a ton of stuff and she hasn't done anything she's just been sleeping which is really nice but i want to take the moment to give like a little bit of a dog haul on the things that we got for her today i'm going with the name gray <laughs> Um, but I want to start to like put some of this stuff away, um, but I wanted to show you guys everything that we got for her thus far. I mean, every single day we're ordering something new off of Amazon. So I got some dog wipes for anything and everything. I was thinking more so like when she starts to be potty trained outside, like wiping her feet when she comes in. We have a bigger leash. And this one's a little bit heavy for her at the moment, but this I wanted to be like her standard leash. And then we got like a training leash that this is like 10 feet tall. So inside or even at a dog park, if we wanted to have a little bit more room. I like this style more so than the one that, that's like a button that you press on it that like pulls them back. This is a water fountain. I thought Oliver would love it and he shows no interest in it. And I think the puppy is gonna outgrow it really fast so I'm changing my mind on that. This is clean paws so it's like a no rinse sort of a cleaner for dogs. Um, this was kind of like for the same purpose. Let's see which one she might like more. Got some puppy shampoo, of course like tons of poop bags and then like a little carrier for the poop bags to put on the leash. When she gets a little bit older I got some dog toothpaste and it came with two different options of toothbrushes. This one that you can put on your finger and like brush inside their mouth or like this one. Of course some brushes and combs. She's a dog that's gonna have a double coat so we needed one like a rake sort of a situation that can get underneath. I got this really cute little jacket although she doesn't need it at all I more so wanted it if it was like raining since it's waterproof so she doesn't get like soaked but I can probably find like another option so this is kind of like a puff jacket sort of situation. Now we have like tons of toys and stuff. I got this Kong frisbee it's for puppies so it's like super flexible. A couple of these toys. This is the leash and the harness that we're using right now for her. It's really, really lightweight, which is nice. It's fully adjustable and it comes in so many sizes, but this is, I think, the extra small. I honestly cannot believe she's this size right now. And then, yeah, tons of other toys, some ropes that came in a pack. They're pretty tiny. A little lamb, tennis ball she's going crazy for right now. And then, no Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hopefully I didn't wake her. And then this is for, I think, when she's a little bit older because it's like a rough texture. And then her water bowls, like this little mat. This is so cute. They sent home a blanket that has like her mom and dad and all of her siblings sent on it. And then I love this. This is what we're like storing her food in and it like compresses the air. Here, listen. So everything just stays like super, super fresh, which is cool. And it does have a scoop on the top. And then this is the part that sucks out the air. There we go. And this part you take out and can charge. But you can see right now that it's trying to compress the air. So it does it for like 30 seconds or something. But yeah, kind of a cool little thing. And I'm just going to keep it right here on the counter for now. And then of course the playpen that we've talked about several times. This mat is actually like a big pea blanket, so it's washable. Everything in here is washable. Her blanket that she's sleeping on right now is washable. We do have a bed that we plan to put inside of the crate, but once she's like a little bit more potty trained, this she's like obsessed with and same with like her little dragon. And then this, we're just keeping the treats in so it can like clip to our belt or wherever um, while we're starting to train her a little bit. 
and tons of toys and stuff inside too. Lots of stuff for her now. It's like having a full-on kid. We have so much stuff. We're kind of spoiling her, going above and beyond. She's being, good. She's being really good right now. I'm just so happy that I'm like walking around and she's not disturbed at all. I think Juana is going to play a video game right now and I think I'm going to read um, a bit since I still haven't finished the book, obviously. What are you going to want for lunch, babe? Meat or pizza. Meat or pizza? Trying to eat up all, all the leftovers? I thought it might be a good opportunity if we pick something up because then we could leave the house. But maybe we can save that for tomorrow too. We can do it. Mm -hmm. The only thing is that the rugby world are finally missing couple hours. Okay. Super chill weekend. The chillest weekend. Just trying to integrate having a new puppy in our lives. Next week is going to be where it gets real interesting. Dealing with work and trying to figure out like a new balance and routine, you know? Mm -hmm. Although I am excited to bring her to the office. So at Amazon, you're allowed to bring your dogs into the office, but they have to be fully vaccinated and you have to fill out like this form and stuff like that. So we're still probably like well over a month, month and a half from that point in time because we made an appointment with our vets and learned a little bit more about the vaccines that she needs and all like that sort of stuff. But her first vet appointment is in a couple of days. Are you excited for that? Yeah, absolutely. I'm trying not to make this vlog like all about her, but it kind of is because that's what's going on in our lives. Like it's this a puppy is, weekend. it's a puppy weekend. I'm trying to do like my normal stuff, but it's so hard to focus for me. Like I would love to go upstairs and watch like Southern Charm, but like I feel like I need to be down here. So I'm just gonna sit right here and read, which is another thing I wanted to do today anyways, was read. I wanted to finish this book today, babe. Still watching rugby. It looks like South Africa is in the lead right now, but we went and picked up some lunch. Just went and got some chicken fingers because it sounded really good. I always get the kid size because, I mean, I can't eat more than that. But then also mozzarella sticks sounded really good. Here's my little lunch. But at the same time, we're trying to feed her her lunch. She's not very interested in her food, which is fascinating. Sit. Yeah. Yes. Stand. Yes. Around a circle. Sit. Down. Yes. Good girl. Look. Yes. Look. Yes. Oh, babe, she's sitting and doing it when I do look. Down. Up. Yes. I have to break up some more. Sit. Down. Good. Yes. She's now worn out and she's taking a nap on me. Although I should really put you in your playpen because of separation. You know what I mean? I feel like it's so hard to say no to this at the same time. Like she wants to sit on my lap and cuddle with me. What are you doing? <gasps> Dragon? Go get it. <gasps> A little playtime to wear her out. I'm not tired enough, so we need to play more. More, 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 more. More, 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 more. I wanted to have it sit up and cute. <laughs> How's Lies of P? Oh, I already finished it. You finished it? My second play. Oh, wow. Is that good? Sit. Down. Yeah. Her training's going really well. Down. Sit. Up. Stand up. Sit. Yes, baby girl, yes. While Juan is doing that with little Gray, I am gonna go up and play with Oliver. <laughs> Hi, baby.
Which one do you want? Me? You want this one? You want this one? Probably that she needs my sneakers. Yeah. Really like snake, she's cheating. <laughs> because she's getting yellow, right? Yeah. Got a couple of new things from Lululemon here. So I figured, let me try this stuff on for you and just include it now in this video versus like waiting for like a whole other try on haul. I don't want you guys to have to wait like weeks <laughs> in order to see this stuff. Cause I don't know when my next haul video is going to be. So let me change and put this on. Okay, here is the first item. It's like this wool blend sweater, right? But it has like a little bit of a v-neck. What I actually really like about this is I think that Lululemon changed something about their wool blend fabric because I just remember in years prior, so before this year, I would try on their wool blend stuff and it would still would be like super itchy and I couldn't wear it, but like this is not itchy at all. So they changed something. Anyways, I like this v-neck because it doesn't cut like too low. I feel like that's my problem when I find sweaters like this is that it just hits a little bit lower and I just feel like I'm showing too much and I don't really like it. I like the length of it where it hits. The sleeves are like a tad long, but I don't mind it. And I just need more options like this to wear into the office now that the weather is getting freezing. It's in like this really pretty oatmeal color. Is this raw linen? I don't know, but it'll be linked and obviously listed down below all of the information. Let's put on the next one. So next sweater is this alpaca wool one, right? Alpaca wool blend. It's the V-neck sweater. It's oversized, but let's talk about this fabric now because this alpaca fabric is so itchy for me. I cannot wear this directly against my skin, but I love the look and fit and design of this sweater. So I'm like actually pretty torn on that aspect. The only way that I could truly wear it is if I have like a turtleneck on underneath it. I like this look. I've been really gravitating towards it. I put on like this bone colored one. It's a mock neck for also from Lululemon. I could potentially wear just like a white turtleneck. It might look a little bit better, but I'm not like opposed to this look either. But we see how it's like kind of boxy and flowy, just oversized. I love when sweaters like that. I don't want it to like cling to my hips too much, but then you can also just like tuck it in. I'm trying to do this one handed, so it's not gonna like look the best, but tuck it in a little bit. This is, this is a look and it's gonna keep me really, really warm too. But you can see on this one, maybe you can, it's like kind of like a two-tone situation between like this rib detailing and then like the rest of the sweater. I think it's really cool. Got this in one other color, so let me put that one on. I was anticipating this one to be like a little bit more oatmeal-y, but it kind of comes off like a little bit pink. So I'm kind of like torn on that, but I love the two-tone again, the ribbed v-neck part versus like the rest of the sweater tuck this one in a little bit but yeah oversized vibes a little bit and the only other things that i got were actually some more boxers i got it in a two pack so this navy kind i love to wear these as like my sleep shorts do you hear her howling in the background it's absurd Quan is down there with her but she just does not like to be alone okay and then it also came with this gray one which is called rhino gray love these for sleeping in and getting my size extra small but then i decided to also finally try out their underwear i've never tried it before and it has like the same really soft fabric as like these shorts do they sit up high rise it came in a three pack i've already worn one of them and i really really like them so that's everything i'll have it all linked in the description for you guys Oliver wants to check out the situation. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. It's finally bedtime. I'm exhausted. Wow, having a puppy is exhausting. It's a good exhausting. Definitely rewarding. She did so many cute things today. So much like learning and growing. Like I feel like she's feeling so much more comfortable at our home. She's exploring more. She's being less nervous. I'm seeing just like more confidence in her. It's so nice to see we had two successful poops outside one pee i think it was kind of like by accident and so many peeing accidents inside <laughs> all right i'm gonna go in with my fade therapy for my melasma so this has hydrocortisone hydroquinone trentinoin in it as well are you getting ready for bed babe are you gonna try to sleep up here wow do you want to for bed bold I was thinking you were gonna spend one more day down there. Let's see how it goes. I want a good peel for my face, so I'm gonna put this on. 
I trim Juan's mustache. Okay. Hi, baby. Good morning. I know. I know you're hungry. How are you? Good. Good morning, baby girl. Juan started upstairs. You came down here what? Eleven o'clock? Yeah. Eleven, eleven thirty something. We have some work to do, little girl. So you said eleven, two, five. five. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Not exactly, but yes. All right. Let's feed my firstborn. Right? You want food. This is before his breakfast time. Oh, how the rules change. If this isn't realistic in real life, I don't know what is. Gray, that's the name I'm still going with today. Although Juan really likes Nyla, so we're kind of like torn both ways, but I feel like Juan wants me to choose whatever name I like, which is really nice and sweet. We haven't decided yet. Anyways, Gray, she had a nice nap in her playpen crate area. We took her outside on the back. I don't think you can see her at all to see if she can go since she just woke up from a nap. That's typically a popular time that she wants to go. But then we also decided to, looking for my phone, um, to download an app that keeps track of like your dog's logging. So like every time she pees, poops, goes to sleep, wake up, playtime, training, like you name it, we're like logging it down of the times just so that we can keep it straight. Like when she eats, for instance, and how much she eats, but if she does pee, is she peeing inside or is she peeing outside, pooping inside versus outside to just like start to see um, her improvement or trends for things like after she sleeps, does she immediately go to the bathroom? I don't know, stuff like that. Anyways, it's been really helpful. I want to make my matcha. I haven't made one this morning. So I wanted to actually talk through how I make it. Some of you guys are interested. And I wanna try a new matcha today. I got like three different kinds. This one I tried, what, yesterday that I showed you. I also have this one, Kyoto Do Matcha that we can try, but I really wanna try out the Chamberlain Coffee Matcha. This one came recommended from you guys. Oh, smoke, good green color. I start with my milk. I do oatly milk, like oat milk, and I feel it to essentially a little above where like this rib, this dip is, a little more than a third, I guess. I usually put collagen in mine. I'm gonna skip that today. Just not really feeling in the mood for collagen today, but I still wanna froth this up because I just feel like it makes it so smooth and creamy. Take this handheld electric frother. And then I would typically go put ice in it until like about here. Let me do that really fast. Voila, got this and I already got my straw handy. I love, love these glass straws. Oh, they're like the perfect size for normal drinking size glasses. And I like them way better than the metal ones. Okay, so I heat up some water here. I did 80 degrees Celsius. You don't want it boiling hot, but you also don't want it cold either. And forgot to mention that this is for my matcha latte. So this is how I make my matcha lattes. So the ratio that I use is one tablespoon of water and then one teaspoon of matcha. You can modify it a bit to be what you like. I find that the consistency is like the best while doing that. A heaping teaspoon here. Oops, I forgot to use my strainer here. Oopsies. This actually really does help 
to get out like all of the clumps, make sure it's just like super smooth. And this is where I take the chasing, the bamboo Japanese whisk here, and then mix this together. So you kind of do like M motions, like back and forth motions here. So in mine, I love to go in with cinnamon and also some honey. So I kind of just eyeball it just to put a little bit in, there we go. And then I'll take about like this much honey. And then we just pour it in. Beautiful. Give it a good stir. All right, let's see how it tastes. You know, I like it, but I still do not like it as much as the kind I got in Japan. See, this is why I'm starting this journey early. I'll show you which one I got. This is the kind that I got in Japan. I've tried looking it up. I can't find it to like get it online. But yeah, this is inside of like this pouch. I also wonder if like the differences is that this one says it's sweet matcha premium. Here, babe, you want to taste this one? This is another new matcha. What do you think of it? It's good. How does it compare to the one that from yesterday? I think this one is better. You like this one more? No. I do. It's more similar to the... It is, is but it's still not as like sweet. It's not as sweet. No. Sweet. Which is funny because this one costs less money than the one from yesterday. It's fine. That just shows you. And the Japan one is the cheapest one. Yeah, the Japan one is by far the cheapest. Damn it. For many hours. What's wrong with having her nap in my lap? We're bonding. Do you think she's about to pee? You better get used to these tripod situations because your mom is a YouTuber. <laughs> Oliver got used to it, you know. Hi, baby. <laughs> yeah. You want it? You want it? You want it? Okay, so I figured let's finally tell you guys like the story about how we even ended up with a dog. <laughs> Can I pay attention to the dog? Yes. Okay, so Juan has always wanted a dog. I think we've mentioned that before. For like years and years and years, I would hear Juan be like, oh, I want a dog, let's get a dog. <laughs> He's grown up. Essentially like, is it your whole life or your adult life? I don't even know. Since Having I was like five. Five, five? Yeah. yeah. He's had border collies, like, a few. Four? Three Border Collies and a Sherman Shepherd. Okay. But his family loves Border Collies and so Juan just really desperately wanted to have a puppy and in specific he wanted- No, 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 no! She peed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're not supposed to yell like that but you know. <laughs> you were just outside the entire time I was making the matcha. Isn't that wild? It's ten minutes, doesn't it? Yeah. Go back outside. That wasn't a complete pee. Let me log it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, Juan wanting border collies. You know, we were starting to come around, and by we, it means me, of wanting to get a dog since Juan's really had, really wanted one. I feel like we were gonna wait until we had a house with a backyard so that it's just easier. Remember how we kept saying that? We're like, well, we'll, we'll sure. get a dog when we get a backyard. But that might never happen, I don't know. That's true. I started to come around on the idea and kind of like at the same time, my niece ended up posting an Instagram story of this puppy in her arms and like this video of puppies like running around. I didn't see the story, but Juan sent me a screenshot of it. And what did you say? What are these? What yeah. breed is this? Like what's happening? What is this? I was like, I think that's an Australian Shepherd. And so he wanted me to ask my niece what it was. So I messaged her and I'm like, hey, are these like Australian Shepherds? And she's like, yeah, they're mini Australian Shepherds. Like our sorority mom had 
um, her, her dogs had puppies and they're at the house right now. I'm like, oh my God, wait, are they for like available? Are they for sale? Like what's the situation? Juan didn't know that I asked if they were any available. And she got back to me because she texted the sorority mom and there ended up actually being three still available. So then I messaged Juan back and I go, guess what? They're actually like a litter of puppies and then there's a few available. And so long story short, we ended up like arranging a time a few days later to go meet the three puppies that were available. This was a little over a week ago. There was like a black and white one that looked really like a border collie. It was a male. There was a white and brown one that was a female, but she was like a chunker. She was bigger. And then there's this little cutie. This is also a female obviously. And she's just like the smallest one in the litter. <laughs> but I feel like she just kind of like stole our hearts. Like she was so sweet, so cute, really wanting to like play with her brothers and sisters and like being social, but still being like, I don't know, just really sweet at the same time. Yeah, coming to us. Coming to us, everything like that. And essentially that night, we ended up making the decision. We thought about it all day. And as I was like back home and working and stuff, I was like, babe, I am like kind of missing her a little bit. <laughs> And we had like a long discussion about like deciding if we, if this was the right time, if we wanted to get her, would we regret it if we waited, you know, and we missed out on her. Yeah. Right? And we decided that we would regret it. We wanted her specifically. And there's never like a perfect time to get a pet <laughs> too, right? Just like there's not like a perfect time to have a child. You just, you just get it and then your life will change and evolve around it naturally. You know, you make the changes that you need to make. Less than a week later, or a week later from that, that's when we picked her up. Yeah, exactly one week. Exactly one week. So that's it. And it all started because of my niece posting a picture of these puppies. Luckily. So funny yeah. how like just the universe works like that, right? So yeah, we didn't do any like of our own trying to find puppies like she just came to us essentially and it was exactly one of the two breeds that juan was very interested in it was either border collie or australian shepherds because their personalities are almost identical they're both herding breeds they have very similar temperaments and i like the fact that she was a mini australian shepherd so she's going to be slightly smaller than a border collie yeah, she's going to be so sweet and so smart once we get over the hump of these few days, a week or two of struggling, we'll get well, the hang uh, of it. Yeah, takes a minute. Yeah, but I like that we're vlogging this for one, to like look back on the memories, right? But two, like this is just super realistic of the first few days of getting a puppy and trying to navigate life. <laughs> yeah, no sleeping. No sleeping. It's like having a freaking baby in the house. <laughs> yeah, she cries every two hours. It's insane. So anyways, I wanted to share with you guys that story. Super fun. She needs to go into her crate if she's gonna be sleeping. Just like that. Nappy, nappy. Wow. So we just woke up from a little nap. We're trying to get her to go to the bathroom. Right, cutie? You gotta go for me. Come on. I know you have it in you. You didn't go before nap time. So now it's definitely time, okay? Okay, cutie? How did you just say no to that face? I mean, it's, oh, oh my gosh. Melting my heart. You're just the cutest. Hey, baby. <laughs> Come on, girl. Potty. Potty. You have to go potty for me. You did for dad. You have to do it for me too. <laughs> I don't want to feel left out. Come on. It's a competition. You have to be on my side. She's curling up like she's gonna go back to sleep. Come on. I have so many treats that I can give you if you go. Okay? Just go. 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 We don't need to talk about my hair. It's hair wash day. I need to wash my hair tonight. But today, wow, classic relaxing Sunday. Lots of football, a little bit of Formula One. 
and then just taking care of little baby girl. My trip outside was not successful. <laughs> she ended up peeing directly when we came back inside after I was outside with her for like 20 minutes, which was really frustrating. But she did end up peeing for Juan outside just a little bit ago. So that's good news there. Otherwise, today I have been editing one YouTube video and editing some like reels or TikToks that I want to go up either this week or between this week and next week. So I'm just going to finish the night pretty much relaxing. It's almost 6 30 right now. We're going to have to do dinner time, which she has been really struggling with. Another play time, pee time, maybe some training and then bedtime. It's going to be another long night, although I'm hoping that's going to be a little bit easier, no? First weekends hmm. in the books. Done. Done. With the new pup. She just need to sleep more during the night. That's yeah. It. Wow, so much fun. I still can't believe like this is a thing. <laughs> it is a thing. It's a thing. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed meeting our new puppy named TBD still. We'll have it decided. Maybe leaning towards gray. It might be slightly ridiculous that we haven't had a name yet. I mean, I'm a bit indecisive. It's just, it's my problem. <laughs> love you guys so very much. Thank you for all the love and support, and I'll see you in a couple days in my next video. Bye. Mwah.